Okay, I think um, an understanding one has to understand from Hawkins' uh, research with muscle testing is that um, when uh, Jesus Christ and Buddha came on, um, they talked about ignorance so that people don't know what they're doing. And they really didn't say much to say what um, to go into greater detail. Um, that's quite obvious now if you do the muscle testing research they didn't have they couldn't share it because humanity was too low in consciousness to share the real reasons why you know this ignorance and blindness and people don't know what they're doing uh, but recently the consciousness of humanity moved be, be above integrity in 1987 so another avatar was selected which was david hawkins uh, the, uh, the most recent avatar, while the consciousness of humanity has gone above integrity. So the humanity now has the privilege to be given the research of muscle testing, um, which means that um, for anyone who's exposed to Hawkins' teachings, um, that blindness that Christ and Buddha talked about, man has, has no capacity yeah, it's ignorant. It's all, it thinks it's choosing the right spiritual teacher, the right book, the right people to stay with, the right job, the right career, the right girlfriend. But very, very often, it, it's sure it's got it right and it's got it wrong. Um, and that's an intrinsic problem with the ego, is it's incapable. The ego is incapable of telling the true from the false and will often choose the false and believe it's choosing the truth. Hence, um, you know, uh, humanity has chosen fallen teachers, uh, books, cults, um, uh, and hasn't got a clue that it's going in the wrong direction because it's incapable of. The muscle testing and the research of muscle testing and having access to muscle testing research is available in Hawkins' work and also in his book, um, Truth Was Falsehood, where he calibrates teachers and books and music and everything you need as a spiritual student to stay away from that which is negative and stick to the teachers, music and books, which are true. So you can save yourself lifetimes and lifetimes of mistake, which um, uh, Buddha and Krishna weren't able to tell humankind. They weren't able to tell them because they weren't allowed to tell them because humanity was too stupid at the time to be revealed those secrets, but now it is. It's got the privilege, uh, now that it calibrates above integrity for an avatar to, to give them the muscle testing research. So that in this lifetime, if you have the good fortune to know of Hawkins and his work, you can save yourself lifetimes of uh, mistakes by sticking to the highest calibrating teachers, the highest calibrating books, the highest calibrating music, and staying away from all those things, um, which is very surprising. Nearly every, you know, nearly everything. Uh, and you might think I'm joking. A lot of the teachers' books, music, TV, is actually calibrating negative. The majority of it. So, um, okay, very quickly. I mean, Hawkins more or less calibrated at one thousand an avatar. So I do recommend if you can listen to his videos or his voice on audible or from his website non-stop throughout the day you'll be accessing his energy and his grace at a thousand um so if you want to save yourself a few lifetimes i would just listen to him non-stop throughout the day uh, i'll explain to you like for example if you listen to a tv commercial uh, with muscle testing research your arms go weak about 17 times on average and uh, your energy system gets blown out. When your energy system gets blown out 17 times by watching commercials, which you didn't know, you've been programmed negatively, 70 times your energy gets reversed. And then you're more likely to take a drink um, of alcohol, take some drugs, go down to the, um, to the casino or to the um, rock music band or pub, and then, and then take some more drugs and then end up um, you know, in a very, very dark place, choosing very, very dark things very quickly. So it's actually can be the difference between life and death, hell and heaven, 
and unmanageability and everything going wrong in your life and, and having miracles. Um, and I share that from experience. When I'm feeling connected to God, miracles happen nonstop throughout the day. And if I allow myself to get disconnected, knowingly or unknowingly, everything starts going wrong in the day. So it's, um, and you don't know why. Well, it's easy once you're available to muscle test and research, uh, why it's very easy to get your energies blown out and start making negative choices and for everything to go wrong in your day. So actually staying connected to God, to the high vibrations nonstop throughout the day you have to you have to you have to have the muscle research and stick to that which is good uh, otherwise you'll blow yourself out very easily and uh, i've not even told you about the collective ego and temptation and how that will lurk in the background so um i recommend the easy way to miracles stick with the best teachers listen to them non-stop listen to the most high i recommend hawkins that i mean if you had uh, the choice of um, using this lifetime to make maximum spiritual progress, do you want to listen to someone at 1,000, someone at 700, someone at 500, or someone calibrating below 200 who's a fallen teacher? I mean, it's obvious to me. I want to make the fastest, easiest progress and have the fastest. I'm going to listen to 1,000 and the best, uh, an avatar, and to have him on. So I... I put him on, on on TV, if possible, or on audio, audio audible, non-stop throughout that. I keep listening. Um, he recommends Robert Gass, which calibrates at the level of enlightenment by Alleluia. Robert Gass is a music track. You can hear it on uh, YouTube. I'd listen to that non-stop or buy it and play it and repeat. Um, so those are ways of fast-tracking it. Do a 12-step program. Do A Course in Miracles every day. Those will safeguard you from addic all addictions and from um, shielding yourself from negative thoughts. Um, they're both good 12-step programs. Step 10s every day and your Course of Miracle lesson every day. They, they will give you massive protection while listening to Hawkins. Um, now, I'm not saying you should do that. I mean, do whatever you want to do. Go to the local uh, rave club, casino, uh, pub, if that's what you want to do. I mean, I'm not going to stop you. And um, but um, know that when you choose something that makes your energy blown out and makes you cut, makes your body go weak, that you're susceptible to going even weaker and for things to go wrong in your life. So um, whether you, you know, man is ignorant, so often it chooses to watch adverts, it chooses to have alcohol and drugs and it doesn't know that it's not making a good choice. But once you're aware of that, if you still choose it, then it's a double error uh, because knowingly choosing drugs and alcohol and watching adverts when you know it's not going to serve your spiritual thing is, is a double mistake now that you, you're aware of it. So Hawkins research is really, really good. But if you do take it, then I would take it seriously and be mindful of your, your ego always wants to disconnect you because your ego is not aligned with being connected to God. So it will want to watch adverts, drink alcohol. It's addicted to places to work with where there's lots of where your energies can get blown out. Addicted to TV shows where your energy goes blown out. It's addicted to, I mean, if you have a fallen teacher, be actually probably more likely to want to keep going to a fallen teacher. You know, a fallen teacher may, you know, I mean, there's payoff. If a spiritual teacher says we're having sex orgies every day, we're drinking alcohol, and uh, we're going to spend tons of money, another one is saying, you know, listen to, just do the Course in Miracles and uh, go to church and cathedrals and listen to sublime music. I mean, it's going to, your ego is going to go, that spiritual teacher's a lot, sounds like much more fun. So um, don't expect your ego to lead you in the right direction. Anyway, the easy way is stick to the highest calibrated teachers and music nonstop throughout the day. Um, that for me is very easy, like something like David Hawkins and uh, Alleluia, Robert Gass. Um, and uh, why would I stick for second best or third best or something? that, And, and um, get things muscle tested, or if they're not, read Hawkins' book and stick to his research. Avoid all teachers you haven't... Um, calibrated all music you haven't calibrated 
all people. Yeah? I mean, I would stick away from people who kind of break negative. So if you do that, that's the fast path. And I, and I, sorry if you've heard this before. I will keep repeating this because if it can save you, a student hundreds of lifetimes of pain and suffering, I think it's useful to say it. I'm not saying you should follow it, but that's that's my view. Okay, I'm going to press stop the recording in a month uh, when I, I'll tell you when. Stop.